Rich here just wanted to talk to you about the swim course for a little bit um, just make sure that you leave enough time to get uh, here to the swim start uh, on the train the Muskoka Heritage Place uh, train will be running um, at regular uh, uh, scheduled departures to uh, to get you down to the swim start the train can only take 87 people per uh, per run um, so there's some people that are gonna have to walk um, but you know if you get to the train platform in, in plenty of time and get on the train then uh, you'll get the awesome experience of taking the train down to the swim start. Um, that happens for both the short course and the try a try so make sure you take advantage of this. Um, once you get down here you're going to have uh, about uh, 10 minutes before the swim start at 8 o'clock for the short course to have a pre-race meeting and then we're going to get the first wave into the water and when you get into the water and you're going to the start line, you have the whole river to go and line up on. So if you want to you know, race and go fast, start at the front of, um, of the group. Um, but honestly, the numbers of the waves are so small that you shouldn't really have to uh, be uh, lining up on top of each other or really crammed in a small group. Like go anywhere along the whole river. Um, if you're nervous, you know, find a spot where nobody is or start towards the back of the, the group of people that are, uh, that are uh, um, you know, starting in the same wave as you. Every three minutes is when uh, the waves go off. And for the short course, there's four waves. And for the tri-tri, there's only three waves. And like I said before, it's a straight shot down the river. There's no turns. Um, there's buoys that are going to be down the middle of the river just for sighting purposes so that you can make sure that you're going in the right direction. The only buoy that's important is that very last buoy before you get out of the water. You have to go around it and keep that buoy on the left hand side. When you're going around that buoy and you swim in towards the stairs where you're going to get out of the water, um, make sure you swim up as far as you can go. A lot of people stop really too early and then they're having to walk through the water and there's a lot of you know uh, water pressure on your chest and it takes a lot of energy out of you to get out to the water. So make sure you swim up as far as you can and something that I do is I swim up until my hands can touch the ground and then I know I'm shallow enough that once I stand up I'll be kind of out to my knees. When you up, get um, uh, up out of the water and you're standing make sure if you're wearing a wetsuit the first thing you do is unzip and then you take a, off the top down to your waist like coach Jess said in the transition video because there's a layer of water between your wetsuit and the skin and it helps get the wetsuit off super easy um, if you run up to transition and you're still wearing your wetsuit what happens is that layer of water goes away and it makes it much more difficult for you to take off the wetsuit once you get up to transition um, the uh, um, when you get uh, when you get up out of the water, some people feel a little lightheaded, and that's totally normal. Um, it goes super quick, uh, goes away super quick. Couple of deep breaths, and you'll actually feel quite a bit better. Um, it's mainly because you've been exerting yourself in a horizontal position and you've suddenly gone to a vertical position and the blood rushes out of your out of your head and down into your legs. Um, one trick that some people use in order to um, combat that to get the, the to get the muscles to keep the blood going towards their head is actually start kicking pretty hard um, for the last I don't know 25 meters before you get out of the water and then that really actually helps with that feeling and then when you get up and you're climbing out of the stairs take a couple of really deep breaths and that negative pressure inside your chest of the suck will suck the blood up uh, from your legs and um, and into your chest where it then can go to your brain and you won't feel so dizzy then there's a run up onto the uh, onto the um, uh, into the transition zone follow the pylons follow the volunteers have a big smile high five your family and just enjoy the day this is a start to a great journey um, the swim is supposed to be uh, very safe there's lots of boats and kayaks in the river to keep you safe if you're feeling tired by all means hang on to them take a breath they can't move you forward they can't assist you in getting you to the finish line of the swim but you can certainly take a breath and take a break if you feel like you're getting claustrophobic or you're panicky you know certainly stop roll over onto your back do a couple of nice easy backstrokes and um, and then once you feel nice and calm again you can you know start swimming again if it starts happening again roll over onto your back and start swimming again if for some reason you have anything that's concerning to you that you are that you need attention 
you know, get um, um, get the attention of a kayaker. One of the best ways to do it, other than waving your arms, is take your cap off and and uh, wave that in the air. And um, what happens is the uh, kayaks will come right to you and make sure that you're doing okay. If you're like, I can't do this anymore, that's totally fine. Um, but we'll we'll work with you and try to get you all the way to the end of the uh, end of the swim. Um, and we know that for a lot of people, the swim is a, is probably the most nerve wracking part of the triathlon. Um, but you know, we're here to make sure that you feel supported, that you feel safe. We want to see you succeed as much as, uh, as much as, um, as you do. So, you know, use the people around you. You know, if it means that a kayaker needs to stay right with you by your side for a whole swim, so be it. Just ask them and they will do that for you. Okay. So get out there, have fun. It's all about having fun. It's about the experience. This is your day to enjoy the experience of a triathlon and the amazing ability that your body has within it. So we'll see you at the end of June on race day. And in the, in the meantime, have fun, stay safe and train hard.